is John Costa of Citizens Eye. We're here in the Watt Space for High Cross CSR Week. So day five, flip balls coming together nicely. It's nice and sunny outside, outside the Watt Space. And I've been joined by Mark and Darren. How are you doing? Okay? Very well, thank you. Good, good. So tell me, where did you uh, go this morning for your visit? Well, we've um, just come back from um, a food bank um, charity um, operation um, and it's been a fantastic um, way to understand what goes on in the local community. Um, what I found most fantastic about the whole process is to get from here, where we're standing at High Cross, to where we got to was only two minutes down the road and we didn't necessarily know that they were there. Yeah. So first and foremost it's understanding that actually this is going on around the corner. So Mark, from your point of view, have you um, volunteered before? Is it something that's played a part in your life? Um, to quite a lot of work with a lot of different charities, but uh, as Darren just said, you know, not knowing that the, there's one just over the road really that is so close and I guess, you know, plays such an important part in many people's lives is just absolutely, you know, amazing. And to know it's there now is, is really good, you know, hopefully we'll be able to do some more work with them in the future. Now, one of the charities that um, some people from the High Cross have gone to visit is Home Start Leicester. So they've cleared a room out and turned it into a meeting room and then the subsequent two groups have gone back and used that meeting room for, the, for this week so it's doing something practical I mean what were you guys able to talk to Sue McKenneth the CEO about at Leicester Charity Link that you could specifically do? Well, we, we were talking about um, lots of different ways to help them strategically um, in terms of making their whole process much more efficient um, to what it currently is. So we were talking about clever ways in which to have um, when food comes in and goes out, how you're monitoring, how you're undertaking checks to make sure that you don't run low um, and also distinguishing between perishable and non-perishable as well to make sure that again when food comes in you don't run that risk that it goes beyond the sell-by date. So what they asked us to, what they tasked us to do is to really understand um, how their operation works and how to make everything more efficient so that the volunteers that work there have got a real procedure um, going forward which they don't actually have in place at the moment. I mean what I find fascinating is that Everyone would assume that a charity would need more volunteers, more donations and all this sort of stuff. And what you're saying here really is something from a business point of view, which you guys use day in, day out here at the High Cross, could actually revolutionise what they do by helping them to become even more efficient. What do you think yeah, of that? It's almost a given for, for us. As you said, it's something that we do day in, day out and it's something that we take for granted. Uh, and I think that uh, you know, charity did or doesn't uh, was unable to, to tap into some of those resources and some of that knowledge, experience, and whatever. And, and uh, you know, again, it's a real benefit uh, today that they've been able to do that. So yeah, any way we can help would be uh, would be good for them and us. We were also talking about um, the analogy that we would use is when you're looking at a shopping centre such as this, we're very interested in foot forward and when that goes up and down during different times of the day, different days of the year, etc. And so we were questioning actually, does this particular food bank have that in place? So we were talking about, is there a simple way in which you can just log when are collections every single day? Which means that over a period of time, you can start to look at the peaks and troughs, which means again, they can start to manage that food a lot better than they currently do. And that's a really simple, quick win to what we were looking to do um, this morning. And it's just knowledge that we have that we can help them with. But it's making sure that this sort of expertise that comes over it's much more about finding simple, quick, easy, effective wins that they can then utilise long term going forward. Yeah, Sue actually said that uh, you know it's been really beneficial for her to have just to have people come in that have got a completely fresh perspective, uh, set fresh eyes, just looking at something that uh, historically they've not been able to focus on. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. Well, Darren, you've come up um, from London today, is that right? Yes, that's correct. Thanks, and from is that from Hammersons? Uh, yes, that's right. So I'm, I'm based in the uh, Hammersons London office, um, and uh, heard about the. Um, opportunity that, that you're going on today and just thought actually um, be good not only to deal with um, a uh, different uh, situation so you're out of your comfort zone as it were but being out of London as well um, just for me gave me a great opportunity to come up to High Cross and actually see what local charities you've got going on in the local area. Well it's brilliant well we've had great feedback from your staff throughout the week that have enjoyed going out and speaking to different community groups and how we can use the what space here more um, so thanks for uh, allowing it to happen and, and support it as you have today so thank you very much. No, thank you.